All right, folks, welcome to my mobile injection station. I just have an old countertop set up in the bed of my truck and we're ready to start injecting. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up some white. I'm gonna start with that. I know it's pretty boring, but this is my first pour. I'm just gonna start with something basic, something simple. And I'm only gonna do about one cup, maybe just under. And off camera, I did soak that up thoroughly. I'm gonna do just one drop of white. This stuff goes a long way and obviously it's going to be hard to tell because the base material is pretty white but if i need to add more i'll just add more once i start heating it up i'm going to start with four minutes i'm going to check it in about a minute and we're going to see what we look like and the first mold we're going to try is a five inch fluke it's one of my favorite baits one of my favorite fluke colors is white so this will work pretty good so we're going to shoot this one first and then I'm going to try to shoot the Helgramite mold. All right, so we've hit the gel stage. You see how that's really jelly-like. Next stage is going to be pourable plastic. Hopefully in another minute or so, this will be ready to pour. Right, that's nowhere as near as white as I would like it to be. So I'm going to mix in another dropper to a white. All right, we're going to go in for about another minute, and we're going to try our first injection. All right, nice and runny. We are going to shoot that. I think that's shootable. Start with the fluke mold. Here we go, first injection. That feels pretty stiff right there. And now we're going to go for the Helgramite mold. Purging. I think we need a little more. Is it good? Good. I don't think we got it all that first one. Is that a syringe? Yeah, it's an injector, right? I don't know. We'll see. That's uh, close. It looks full. Yeah, that one was close. All right, I'm going to try to shoot the small fluke. Enough. That one's going to have a ton of flashing on it. The mold pushed apart a little bit. Alright, it's been a minute or so. Let's see how this fluke looks. First injection. And we have a white fluke. Nice. And we have quite the air pocket there. That's not what we want. All right, let's see how these look. All right, that one came out pretty good. Uh, actually, a couple indents, air bubble. But for me, that's fishable. What'd you put in the water? Had another little indent right there. Another indent there. Pretty big indent. That one's not fishable. That's going in the remount. This one came out pretty much perfect. Pretty big air bubble right there. Big indent there. That side came out fine. Oh yeah, that's a big air bubble. Yeah, got some work to do. I'd say that's not bad for the first injection. Let's try the Helgramite. Guess I underestimated how easy it would be to separate these. <laughs> All right, Helgramite looks fantastic. There's a Helgramite. Check them out. That looks pretty awesome. 
Guess maybe these probably aren't the right type of gloves to wear, getting a bunch of fuzz on them. Them came out pretty much perfect. I don't see any, uh, actually, I guess a couple of the upper legs didn't pour. But I couldn't even really tell initially. Yeah, right here there's a big bone. But even with them shortened legs, them are completely fishable. Yeah, them upper legs come up a little more. I only got to about that first elbow. But I'm not going to sweat that too much. It doesn't bother me much. All right, let's see. All right, we looks looks like we have complete pores. You see all that flashing? That flashing's no good. I'll have to clamp the mold tighter next time. But the bait itself looks really good. It came out really good. I really like these Helgramites. I'm going to do another pour, see if I can get a complete leg pour. I'm going to do one more run of the Helgramite and the 5 inch fluke. And we'll get some new Plastisol. And we're going to shoot this bigger craw bug mold. See how that one works. That one I know I'm probably going to have to shoot twice, so I don't know how that one's going to look. I can already tell I'm probably going to need a bigger injector. Huh, it's funny, like it sometimes almost half feels like it's not getting plastic, so. Just like that. There we go. Got that one. That first one I just got mostly air for some reason. Don't think this will be a good shoot, but let's try it. No. Well, that was a fail. That was a fail. I feel like the plastisol already started to cure. I pushed my nozzle out. Alright, this one's gonna be a disaster. I thought I'd have time to top that off, but I didn't. This is not gonna turn out well. I already tell. Wow, actually, I'm amazed. That actually turned out better than the first one. I don't know how. All right, I'm shocked. Them actually turned out better than the first ones. No dimples, a couple random air bubbles, but nothing that bothers me at all. That one's perfect. Very few air bubbles. All right, them look good. All right, these ones I know are gonna be a disaster. Okay, wow, I am wrong again. Came out better than the first time. We got a complete pour. And I guess I had quite the misperception of what was air and what was actually Plastisol. I thought I was driving mostly air with this one but it turns out I was driving Plastisol. That's why I thought it was gonna be a failure. But these ones came out flawless compared to that first batch. You can see how these front appendages are much longer. Um, the first ones were a failed pour. These ones came out awesome. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna clean out that Pyrex cup and we're gonna shoot the craw bug mold and I'm gonna maybe try to just shoot for like a natural I don't know, green, green pumpkin, something like that. Nothing too crazy with color combos today. But I'm going to try to get something a little more natural. Alright, I think we're ready to add some color. I'm going to add a drop of green. See what that looks like. Alright, that's really like a blue-green. Kind of came out almost like an aqua. Not what I'm looking for, even remotely close. Drop a brown. There we go, that looks a little more green pumpkinish. Yeah, that ain't half bad. Let's rock and roll. Here we go, crawl bug. First shot. Not really even close to filling. I don't think anyway. Hmm. I have no idea guys. Alright guys, crawl bug. Let's see how it looks. I had to shoot this one twice. 
I have no idea how that's going to affect the bait. There'll be like a little air bubble there to put in line. I have no idea. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Not the best, but not bad. We missed a couple leg pours here. Missed a leg pour, missed a leg pour. All right, so we missed a leg pour in that one. I could probably fish that, but we'll remelt it. But the color's not bad. I'll take that just for kind of a just for kind of an on-the-fly color. That one's fishable. So we ran 50% with these craw bugs. Half of them didn't pour the tails. The other half did. Oh boy, them came out pretty darn close to perfect. Look at them guys, that is going to catch a ton of fish. Them came out perfect. This Helgramite mold shoots beautifully. Look at that color. These are going to be killer up in the river up here in Maine. Okay, liking what I see, liking what I see. I don't see any dimpling. A little bit of dimple on the side. Less air bubbles though, which I'm glad to see. A little dimple. Let's check this little mini fluke. We didn't have any any flashing. Oh wow, that's good. Look at that mold. That one looks pretty darn good so far. The bottoms look just as good. That's actually a pretty darn good color. It's a little translucent. For some reason this guy had a pretty big air pocket. You could probably fish it, but we're gonna remelt that one. That one's perfect. That one has a little dimple. So pretty much we got eight out of ten, and all these other ones came out pretty well perfect. All right, folks, it's the next day. I did quite a bit of pouring after I got done filming, and I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of what everything looks like. So here are the Helgramites. I didn't show this color. This color is this color is sort of a see-through orange, kind of like a see-through dark orange. If that makes sense this is that green pumpkin color you saw me make i think these are going to be killer up here in maine we have some bugs that crawl around on the bottom of our lakes and rivers that look pretty similar to these so i think these are going to be a good good lure this year and these are the white ones these things are going to be good for trout bass will hit them and we've got some purple ones these things i think will work pretty good too and moving on to the little flukes i didn't film this color I messed around with some remelt and I got kind of a light pink. And I think this is going to be a good crappie color. I think this will be good on some trout as well. And this is a darker purple. And these are the white ones that you saw. These ones came out really well. And there's the green pumpkin color. Them ones look pretty good. And this is that same Helgramite color that I didn't film. This is kind of that dark see-through orange, if that makes any sense. And just a little different shade of purple. And moving on to the creature baits. This is that same light pink I messed around with off camera. I think that's going to be a good color for bass. This is some darker purples. And here's some of the white ones. The ones came out good. This is that same kind of see-through dark orange. I think that's going to be a really good color. This is that green pumpkin-ish one that you saw me film. I think that one's also going to work pretty good. And moving on to the flukes. Here's my white ones. They came out pretty good. Can't wait to fish these for bass. And here's that same color light pink and the purple ones. I just put them in the same bag just to save on bags. And here's three different colors. I got that green pumpkin, that same see-through dark orange, and I messed around with some remelt and uh, poured this lighter orange. I think that lighter orange will be pretty good up here in Maine too. All right, folks, so there you have it. This is my first injection session. I would say it turned out pretty good. I'm happy with the results. I definitely have some fine tuning I have to do. I had quite a few air bubbles and uh, some missed pours, so I'm gonna have to mess around with a couple things. But I'd say the first one was a uh, pretty good session. If you guys have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Keep in mind, uh, this was my first session, so I'm certainly not a pro. But if you're looking at making soft plastics and you have some basic questions, I can try to answer them. Uh, we're going to wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.